In this lesson, I'm going to talk about major scale notes on a string. Um, in the, the courses that I've created, we explained the theory behind it. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And that's how you find any major scale, the notes in any major scale. Well, we can do that through a major scale pattern like we might know, which is... That's definitely one you want to learn is the major scale on every uh, string and use that all the way down the neck. But another way to use the major scale is to use it on an individual string. So if I wanted to use um, a C note, which would be right here, I can use that and follow it up all the way to the C, which is going to be on the 13th fret. So I can do a whole step from C, C to D, which is uh, you leave that um, you leave one fret in between to get a whole step because this is a this is a half step right here and remember this is a whole step so C to D is a whole step D to E is a whole step E to F is a half step F to G is a whole step G to A is a whole step A to B is a whole step and B to C is a whole half step so in the key of C, there's no sharps or flats, um, and so we just go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's the easiest one to remember. Um, now we just have to get used to our fingers playing that major scale. And what I like to do is move my first finger down the guitar and allow my second and third fingers to play, um, whether it's a half step or a whole step. So if it's a whole step, I use my third finger. If I use, if it's a half step jump, I use my second finger. But you get the idea to be able to play that with your first finger and move it up like that. Um, when you start getting into major scales, you can do a lot with notes down the neck. Uh, so you need to really be familiar with how to do that. Um, and I would just take it slow at first. There's not really a finger pattern that I was following there. Um, I would just get used to those notes first. So you just take your first finger and go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. And eventually you'll get used to the... I like to slide down like that, first finger. And make sure you alternate down, up, down, up on the, on the picking pattern. Um, so you can use that major scale anywhere. If you're using a D major scale, you just find the D note and you do the same pattern all the way up and you'll have the major scale. So it doesn't matter what string you're on, doesn't matter what um, key you're in. Just do that and that gets you a long way in order to do a lot of cool stuff. One of them I'll show you at the next lesson, which is going to be um, playing an E minor pattern with open strings and you can use the major scale to help you uh, follow what I'm doing.